George's girl. Do you remember who she was? Yeah. He called her Bean. What? I heard her again tonight, Forrest. Dawn. Her name was... What? Whoa. What happened? Are we still on air? No. No, we're not. Oh, we're shit. How do we get it back on? I don't... Uh, oh, we can use the emergency generator down in the basement. Oh, God. I up a while ago in case you ever needed to do an emergency broadcast. I got no An sounds. emergency broadcast? Emergency? You know, nuclear war? This is bullshit. All right, folks, we are tuned back in to Team Machine Radio. Caller I am your host, for... VR Machine. Peggy, shut your mouth when I'm doing my intro. All right. Now, killer shot. Almost. Come on. There we go. Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash. Hello, Whatever. Forrest. This is John Hedges. I'm here with Casey. I wanted to give you an nice. update on Jason. John! Is, is he going to be okay? He's a fighter. He'll be fine. We've got him stabilized and resting in a bed. We're preparing to move him to the hospital. Thank you so much! Have you had what? been there, then? God, I don't even want to think about what would have happened. Of course, Casey. We're just happy he's okay. John, Casey, you two did all the work. Yes, Tell you did. Tell Jason to get well soon from us. And I Whatever did a lot of it, for. too. Well, why don't you tell him yourself? Is this Forrest? Forrest Gump. Jason! We meet at last! It's good to hear you, Jason. How are you? Oh, nice. well, you know, I've got a hole in my stomach, and there's a knife in my leg. But That's all John good. gave me something to take the edge off. So, I might feel even better than either of you. Hey. <laughs> I'm guessing Why? the whistling man is still out there. Uh, yeah. Why? Yes, the whistling man's still out there. Why do you ask? You know something about the whistling man, don't you? Yeah. Oh shit. Can we talk about what happened earlier? Go for it. Casey said when you were attacked, your assailant said something like, It's not so funny now? Do you know what they meant? I do. Yes, he does. I've heard that voice every day in my head for almost 20 years. Every day? Does the killer live in Gallows Creek? No. Not exactly. Not exactly. Hey, guys, I'm really sorry, but there's a call on the other line. I just need so? to make sure we don't have another situation brewing. You fill Jason in on what happened. I'll be right back. Forrest, have you ever heard of somebody called George Barrel? The boy uh, who yes. drowned? Sounds like everything's finally coming out now. It's been tough to hold it what? all in. Sounds like so you've been holding out. back about something awful, Jason. I'm part of the reason my best friend is dead. Oh, Lord. shit. And the few who knew about it said if I ever said anything, I'd find myself in jail. For Man. A long time. It was hell. Y'all are a bunch and of then bitches. The town just moved on. Like he'd never existed. Right. What Let's happened? Say what that happened? Night? I went along with the stupid prank. That's what. It all Western starts with night. a prank. Some of the guys on the football team had an idea for a way we could haze the newcomers. Oh God. We decided to plan a party in the woods and have the whistling man crash it. It was stupid. We the whistling woman? I was the stabbed friend. At the party that night, I left the group for a second. Met our whistling man. Peggy, who are you talking to? Tended to get stabbed in front of everyone. Started an almighty panic. Those screams. That was the last time I saw or heard George alive. How did what George did die, Jason? I don't know. I was playing dead. But when I heard her scream... Her? her? Yeah. George's girl. Do you remember who she was? Yeah. He called her Bean. 
What? I heard her again tonight, Forrest. Dawn. Her name was... What? Whoa. What happened? Are we still on air? No. No, we're not. Oh, because shit. How do we get it back on? I don't... Uh, oh, we can use the emergency generator down in the basement. Oh, God. I up a while ago in case we ever needed to do an emergency broadcast. I got no An sounds. emergency broadcast? Emergency? You know, nuclear war? This is bullshit. Broadcasting a serial killer's location to the cops so we can end this nightmare? Fair point! It's in the storage area, in the far back corner, up on the wall. Oh, I think that's what I saw last time when we were down there. Yep, big red square button. Of course. God, I hate you, Peggy. Oh. I don't get a flashlight or nothing. Look how it landed, though. I throw like a bitch. Alright, this sucks. Peggy, I hate you. I can't even get a flashlight. Okay. Everything's fine. Nothing's gonna happen. So how is that still lit? And working? Oh, batteries. Of course. Hello? Dawn? I know it's you. Nothing. God, this sucks. Everything's fine. Nothing's gonna happen. Just the power surge. Nothing spooky. Let's go. <laughs> oh, shit. Anybody there? Hello? Wait, what's this? What is that? Uh, a walkie? Can I bring these? I need a weapon. Here we go, I'm gonna stab them. The light's on. Hey, ski buddy. Alright. I need something bigger. Oh shit. Oh shit. I don't think I went in there at all. Ooh. Here we go. Nice. Whack. Alright. I'm ready. Fucking bug. <laughs> yeah, I'll get you next time. Who's out there? Anybody? Hello? I got a mop. I'll whack the shit out of you. Right about there. Whoa. Wrong way. Let me get a grip on this. Here we go. Anybody there? God, I do not like this. Wait. There's the intercom. Nothing. God damn it. What is that? Oh, it's all that. Nothing better I can use as a weapon. Alright. 
Hello? Alright. I could do this. I can do this real quick. Huh. Go. Far back corner. Why not is there. this station so big? Nothing's gonna happen. I'm not gonna die. I'm not gonna get killed. Everything is perfectly fine. There it is. That must be it. Whoops. Hello? Boom! We've got power! Oh, shit. Come on. Whistling man. I need to warn Peggy. Oh, shit. Peggy. Peggy. Shit. Which way? Here we go. I gotta get to the intercom. Let her know that the whistling man or woman is here. What was that? Footsteps. Oh shit. Peggy, are you there? Are you... Peggy? I need to get back upstairs. No, Peggy. Whistling man, if you touch Peggy, I swear to God. Oh shit. Oh! What the hell was that? Peggy, I'm coming. I'm coming, Peggy. Wait. No, Peggy. What? Why is it what locked? The fuck? Peggy. Oh, no. Peggy. Peggy! Where'd you go? Oh! You motherfucker. No way. What's up, bitch? This can't be happening. Come on. What? I like your jacket. Bring it. A, a call. Bring it. Come on, bitch. I ain't got time to play games with you. Where's Peggy, Don? Where is she? Patience, Forrest. It's almost I don't the end got of the night. none. Almost the end of the show. But Come on. It's not over just yet. Put him up. Uh... Time still. Oh, is that so? so? Let's make the most of it. Oh, we going to do that. I'm going to make the most out of whooping your ass up and down this radio station. Let's get to it. All right. Let's. I'm happy to hear that. Huh? I thought we'd end tonight's Whistling Man special with a what the hell? special guest. Who? The one who started it all. What? To get out of your mouth and... You crazy what? bitch! Let me go! Welcome to the air, Mr. Teddy Gallows Jr. Wait. Wow. It's all gonna come out tonight, Teddy. Your daddy and his money saved you 20 years ago. Wait, so who's that? Wait, where the hell is Teddy? How, how are you talking to him if you're here with me? Because I'm not there with you, Forrest. I'm what here the fuck? Teddy, and if he says where that is, well, he knows he'll get it. So who's this? Wait, then who am I looking at? Forrest Nash, let me introduce you and all of Gallant's Creek. To my boy, Henry Barrow. What? Your son? Your son? You mean you... Wait, the... What? The he? Yes, Forrest. He and I had a son. Who? So there were two whistling men tonight. Of course. That explains how you were always able to get around town so quickly. And... That's how you escaped the secret archives in the newspaper office. You don't think I've forgotten about that, Forrest? Fucking must have away like an animal. Hang on. The hell? Did you say... Barrel? That... Are you... Let me just get this mask off. Wait. Damn uncomfortable thing. No wonder Mooney went crazy wearing this. There we go. Who is it? Marie. 
Marie Campbell? What? George's old girl. Oh, well, it sure has been. I'm a little confused since here. I last saw. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Marie Campbell? So, not Don, huh? No. Not Don. Alright, I'm confused. You going to... Everyone's gonna know now what Teddy did. Who the hell is Marie? That night. This night. 20 years ago. Listen to me. You... Ah! You're gonna talk when I talk to you. And not a moment before. Meanwhile, Forrest, So this... It's Henry Boro. You're gonna help me reveal what really happened to George all those years ago. Okay, I got it now. Why should I help you? Why should I play any part in this? Because I think you believe in justice. You think this is justice? You have no goddamn idea, Forrest. Where's Peggy? These people, these people you've been trying to save, they were all in on it. They all knew George was murdered, but... Murdered? Uh, listen, I... Dude, just shut up, Teddy. I said you speak when you're spoken She's whooping to. the dog shit out of him. Now, I know you've done some good work tonight in piecing together what happened to George 20 years ago. And that's yeah, why I want you to interview us. What? What's this? Happy birthday, Peg. Now you're great and eight. Love, M. Wait. Love, M. Is... Is Peggy Marie's sister? What the hell? Yeah, if you say so. If you say so. I'm not really in a position to argue. I'm happy we have your cooperation. Do a good job. And hell, you might be the only one to leave here alive. Where's Peggy? I need to drag this out. If I can buy Leslie time to get back to Gallows Creek. Yep. And if I can find out where Marie is, then this can end. We'll start with you. Just, uh, talk me through what happened that night. How did it start? How would I know? It was 20 years ago. Jesus Christ. Hit him again, Marie. <coughs> yeah. What the hell? That's what you get. God damn it. Okay. All right. Our first team party was coming up. And when I saw the date it was scheduled for, I had an idea for a way we could prank the new guys. I understand that kids in Gallows Creek know tonight as Whistling Night. I'm guessing that's what you mean? Well, we didn't have a name for it then. It was just the night that Mooney went missing. But God. Whistling Night is what they call it later. Wait. You mean this was the first Whistling Night? I, uh... Keep talking, Teddy. Wait, what? Went up near Whistling Point. Uh, God. Who was there? Me, Jason... Jason. And George? But George didn't come alone. He came with Marie. Marie. About midway through the night, we put the prank into action. I looked up at the trees and saw Jason there, bloody, like he'd just been stabbed. And the whistling man <laughs> screaming. George and I and Ricky. We got left behind. Wait. Ricky was there? Roller Ricky? He was. And he was in on the whole thing. I don't believe it. Is that true, Teddy? Did you tell her? What? No! He... <sighs> you two were as close as anybody. What? I for a second you didn't tell him. 
George would both be alive still. Hmm. Well, if Ricky weren't dead, we could have heard his side of the story. It was just right? a stupid prank. Hit him. Hit him again, Marie. Oh, oh God. And so tonight you stabbed him for real? It's the role he wanted to play. Jesus Christ, you're sick. Jason's woman. still alive, Marie. He was with a friend. We talked her through how to stop the bleeding and got him professional help just in time. Yeah, bitch. Uh. She we didn't have the good sense to die earlier. Yeah, okay. That. Enough about him. George took off running. But Right. Somehow we got separated in the woods. I ended up near the bottom of Whistling Point. When I All right. George wasn't with me, I panicked. And then, I don't know how he snuck up on me, but the Whistling Man grabs me. I scream, and he starts laughing. Telling me it's, it's just a joke. <sighs> I can stall for time here. How did you feel in that moment? I felt like... Yeah, go ahead. It was real. I felt small and confused. It was a prank, bitch. Get over yourself. Tell me what happened next. I suddenly recognized it was Chuck. Chuck? Chuck Brody was the whistling man. Laughing away. Who the hell is Chuck? But then he stops. And he's looking up at the top of Whistling Point. What was he looking at? <laughs> George? Teddy. What happened next? Nothing. I mean, it was just. Teddy? George fell off Whistling Point. Wow. Why'd he fall, Teddy? You just you pushed him. You were up there. What the fuck? You were dressed as the whistling man too, and I didn't push him, god damn it! I just chased him up there and he kept backing up. When I saw he was about to go over, I reached out. That's what you saw. You liar! You oh, stopped shit. my fall. He didn't know it was a joke. If he had any brains, he would have realized. Ooh. Ugh. Not what you should have said, buddy. Bitch. No one's going to believe this. After all, you did. Yeah, it doesn't matter, prank or not. If she's lying, why the cover up? My future was at stake. Okay, Ash. I get that. You know what it's like. Us are bred for bigger things. Yeah, don't try to compare us as the same, buddy. And then governor. And then who knows? What happened that night was tragic. It right. should never have happened. But it was a mistake. It was just oh, a I wish I had my joke. sound effects. Gone wrong. So my father sent Clive out to clean it up. Why should a blip ruin a blip? Cause people their that. life. Blip? He wasn't a blip, Marie. His father covered it up from there. I searched for George's body all night, but Sandra found him the next morning while out jazz running. She found him in the river, but she lied about that to protect Teddy. She said something about her rent going up, unless she... Wait. Teddy, did your father own Sandra Sharp's dance studio? It's Gallows Creek, not Sharp Creek. Uh... I'd answer the question if I were you, Teddy. Yes, okay. We own the most of the town. That's it then. So Your this father is the was going to run her out of business unless she lied and said she found him in the reservoir instead, instead of, the, of river. the river. What my father did in his business dealings is nothing to do with me. The false reports. 
That's why you killed Sheriff Matthews, too, isn't it, Maria? Not just to get him out of the way, but... Everyone was in on it, Forrest. Even the coroner wrote a fake report. Said George was drinking. Well... He just got himself into trouble, and... I saw. I'm... I'm sorry. For all it's worth, Virginia didn't have much of a choice. She had a sick sister whose treatments she couldn't afford. She played along with the gallows to save her sister's life. And her own. Even... even still, she should have told the truth. I did my part. So, I tried did you I not kill done. Carrie because she was a female? Part, no, that coward killed the story. <sighs> we'll take care of Maurice Russell later. When will the killing end, Marie? When will the killing end, Marie? End? When does it end? You it's gonna end kill tonight. The world. This has to stop sometime. It has to. Never. Started. Jesus. Punished. It's coming to a stop. All right, Sorry Leslie. Now. Here. Where George and I first met. First met. Was right after he shot the winning throw. Wait a sec. Uh oh. You're at Gallows Creek High, in the gymnasium. What's up, bro? That's right, Forrest. Not that it matters. Yes, we're here. Anyway, I think that about wraps up the interview with Teddy. So. Peggy! Teddy? You gotta help me. I... Quiet. You'll talk more later. They're sisters. Now I have to talk to someone who mattered more than you ever did. Her sister. Peggy. It's been so long since I've seen your face. She said she hasn't Marie, seen her. Come. Marie! Oh my god. I thought you... And here I was, thinking you'd forgot me. So that's I Peggy's nephew. My own sister. I told you. Sister? Peggy, what, what's happening? Why are you even there? Wanna explain, Peggy? Peggy, Earlier, no. Earlier, while you were speaking to Jason, I got a call. You remember? Yeah. Well, it was from Dawn. She said that my sister Marie was there that night George died. And that I should come to the gym for a reunion. And when you walked in, you found out. My sister is the whistling man. Good to see you too, Peggy. Why didn't I you tell it. me any of this? She said that it was my last chance to see my sister. I knew if I told you, you'd try to stop me or come with me when we need you on the radio. And I just... I'm sorry. This has to be a lot for you. I just... So, are we gonna fight? I was thrown out, Peggy. I begged Mom and Dad to do something about what happened that night. But did they care? No. They told me to stay quiet. Probably because his dad got to them, too. Marie, I'm so sorry. I never knew. It's not your fault. Really, it's Mom and Dad I should be seeing right now. But since they're dead, gone, well... Did you kill them? I'll have to settle for the next best No. Day. Don't. Marie, listen to me. You don't have to do this. Someone has to pay for what they did. Marie, please. So you're gonna Get kill your sister. Peggy. Besides, you forgot me. Just like the rest. You forgot. Marie, Peggy never forgot about you. Keep your mouth shut. She kept a card from you. She she kept it here on yep. the desk. What card? The card you made me for my eighth birthday. What does it say then? It... Happy birthday, Peg. Now you're great and eight. Love, M. I... Yup. Well, I... 
Good. Henry, get out of here! Ah. Ah. Get me out! Hands in police! Freeze! It's me. Forrest! Leslie! How's Peggy? She's been cut pretty bad, but we're here now. Get me the fuck out of here. I'll be okay. God, Marie! Hey, Zara! I need you to look after Peggy. She needs help. Now. We got here just in the nick of time. Where's Marie? She bolted right as Wait, we got here. Wait, where'd the sun go? The police are right on her heels. It won't be long now. It's over, Forrest. No, it isn't. Well, folks, it was a long night, but we made it through together. I'm gonna head off to go check on Peggy. This is Ben, Forrest Nash. And it's been a scream. There you have it, Team Machine. What the hell is all this? In this is crazy. Of night, I can hear you calling to me. And there's no one to run. Wait, what? One suspect is in custody. The other so ones. Oh shit. You heard the water. 